Hello, welcome to the PureMark training video. Uh, this video will walk you through creating a PureMark assignment in Turnitin. To get started, I'm in my assignment list for my class, so I just clicked on my class name, took me to my class homepage, and here I am. I'm going to click Create a New Assignment, and I'm going to select PureMark Assignment. The first thing I'll do when the PureMark Assignment screen comes up is I will select an assignment to base my peer mark on. So this is the assignment that the students are going to submit to uh, so that they can get the papers into the peer mark assignment. And I'm going to choose my first assignment, which is favorite paper. Uh, that assignment was due March 10th. I'm going to set a point value. I'm going to make it worth 10 points so my students actually do it. Uh, I can choose to show more options. This will give me things like allowing students who haven't submitted to the first assignment to participate in the peer review, things like that. I'm not interested, so I'm going to skip uh, under start date, I can change my start date just by clicking on the date, but I kind of like that start date, so I'm going to leave it. I will change my due time here uh, to something reasonable so my students aren't up all night. And I will set it to, say, 8 p.m. I can also view more options in here. It'll give me things like uh, if I had allowed late papers to the first assignment, when do students have to have those papers in by to participate in this peer mark? But again, not interested. Going to save and continue. And in this set step, I will tell my tell PureMark how many papers I want my students to review. So I'm going to click Edit. I want the service to automatically assign them two papers to review. I want to let my students choose from the papers uh, one paper to review. That'll give me three total reviews for my students. So each student will write three reviews. Save that. Under More Distribution Options, I can do things like tell PureMark what student I want to review, what other student's paper, or if I want to exclude a student from participating in the review, I can do that there too. Again, I'm not really interested in this, so I'm going to continue. And here's the final step, and that is adding questions for my students to enter. I can put assignment uh, instructions here for my students to follow. It'll appear at the top. I'm not going to do that right now, but I am going to add a question. We have two types of questions. They're free response, which are short, short answer questions. You can set a minimum uh, word count for those, and scale, which is on a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 3, how strong is your thesis, things like that. I also have these libraries, and everybody has a sample library. I'm going to open my sample library, see questions I already have in place. I want to have them rate the overall. That's a scale question. I want them to tell me if there's a comment point of view. I'll add that question. Um, I'll add that question. And then I'm finished. I do have these three questions. If I want to change the order, I can just click that, drag them, drop them, save my order. I'm done. Again, I can add additional questions by typing my own. Mm. There. Five word minimum. Add the question. Oh, it, maybe I want to edit that. So I have a question mark, that, and I'm done. Now I can save and finish, and my peer mark will be created. And so when my students go in, they'll see something that'll say start review, and that'll give them a paper to review. And I'm done with peer, creating my peer mark. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.